In this video we are discussing on how we can fix the Windows Defender error 0x800705p4. Windows Defender is a freeware tool provided by Microsoft in Windows 8 and Windows 10 for the purpose of protecting the system from external threats including malware and spywares. So it is pretty helpful for Windows users at it, as it eliminates the need of downloading additional third-party softwares for the sake of protection. The, re the reason behind this error is usually when there is another third-party protection service installed along with Windows Defender. So a conflict is established between the two programs performing the same functionality. In this case, the third-party antivirus program should be disabled or uninstalled for the sake of Windows Defender to work flawlessly. A number of solutions can be used in order to get Windows Defender back to working state. As mentioned in the reason behind this error message, disabling the third-party antivirus would be the best solution to resolve this issue. If you have third-party antivirus as well as firewall installed, then you might need to disable it. You should also make sure that Windows Firewall is turned on. Select Control Panel from here if you don't see the option of control panel click on run command type control panel let me switch to large icons view from here open windows firewall then go to turn windows firewall on or off settings here make sure that windows firewall is turned on for all type of networks once it is done click on start menu and type services when you get services app in the results, right click on it and select run as administrator. In the services, search for Windows Defender. When you search for the Windows Defender antivirus service, see if it is in running state. If it is in stop state, right click on it and then click on start. After starting the services, check if your problem persists or not. The additional steps or methods that can be used to fix this issue is press Windows key, select settings, click on update and security, Click on recovery. And under the advanced startup option, click on restart now. Okay, so when you get options to choose, click on Troubleshoot. In Troubleshoot, click on Reset this PC. Click on Keep My Files. Let the windows get started. 
Now, if you if you are prompted to choose an account, choose an administrative account. You might need to provide the credentials. If you are prompted to insert the media, you need to insert a Windows 10 installation media or recovery drive to continue the process. When prompted, select Windows 10 installation that you want to refresh and then click on reset to begin. Refreshing Windows 10 will now start and this will take a while to finish and your PC will restart a few times during the process. When finished, sign into Windows 10. Each user that signs in for the first time after the refresh will go through the first startup again before seeing their desktop. There can be another solution to this which is to run the SFC. Let me pause the video here and let this process to get complete for reset Windows 10. Okay, so the PC is back online. Uh, once it comes back, check the Windows Defender again and see if that resolves the issue. The next thing that we have is to run SFC scan. So to run SFC scan, hold Windows and X key or click on Windows PowerShell Admin or you can select Command Prompt Admin, click on Yes for the USC prompt. On this window, type SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. This process will take a while. Do not close this window and wait for the process to get completed. The results uh, can be Windows did not find any integrity violations. Second, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and repaired them. The third is Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files but was unable to fix some or all of them. It is always a good idea to run SFC method three times to make sure all the problems are fixed. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.